Hi guys and welcome to this video. This is going to show you um, a few tips I've put together. Um, I've only been playing the game for a little while, but as a beginner, um, I've found a few things that will help you guys out. Hopefully will help you out. Um, and I've just put them all down in one video. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, remember this is for beginners. Um, there are more advanced tips on the way, um, but hopefully this will show you um, a few things that you need to do to, to survive and thrive in this world. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Okay, number one, kick. Okay, uh, when you first start the game, you've got really crap weapons. You've got a spanner or a hammer or a plank of wood. Kick will get you out of most corners, okay? Uh, just showing you here the simple kick. Um, it is so worth remembering that you have this skill. I can't emphasize this enough. When you first begin the game, your weapons are limited. Okay, and as you can see, uh, I am absolutely battering this zombie on the ground. I feel a bit bad for it, actually. Um, but it will get you out of almost all corners, and especially at the beginning, um, when the zombies aren't exactly that difficult to beat. Okay, this next bit, jump and kick. Okay, don't forget, on your R1 button on the PS4, um, but it's the, it's the button you use to, to free run. R1 will uh, jump and kick. Um, and don't forget that you can use some of the environment uh, around you to, to help you get these guys uh, and kill them quickly, kick them towards the spike traps or even fire if it's nearby. Uh, just circle around to these guys, they're slow moving anyway at the beginning. Um, just kick them towards the spike trap just like I'm doing this guy, kicking him in the ass. I feel, feel bad about that. But anyway, uh, after a while you'll be able to unlock uh, this skill. Under agility it's the drop kick. Okay, all you need to do is sprint, so hold down our, our, uh, the L3 button, jump and then uh, kick you are uh, you're going to take out a lot you take a lot of damage against these guys okay number 2 do not forget to use the survivor sense i realize the game tells you this okay but every single place you go whether you're you're on your way to a mission whether you're just exploring hold down the x button on the ps4 i'm sure it's different on other consoles hold down hold down the x button and it will show you exactly where there are things to open things to collect um, things to uh, lockpick just as we see here um, and just remember it's so important y your crafting is one of the key skills in this game and to find all of these things they are littered everywhere to find them is going to unlock later on skills so here we're using the lockpick I'll bring out a tips video on how to do that I think I found a fairly straightforward way of doing that but when you do unlock um, something like uh, a chest with a lockpick it will give you some high rewards um, but don't forget to use that, okay? Number three, capture the safe houses early. Um, now, early in the game, you probably won't realize why, but as you as you sort of get on with the game, you'll begin to understand why I'm suggesting you do this, okay? At night time, you'll need somewhere to run and hide, uh, bravely. Um, you'll need somewhere to, to get to. But not only that, it also unlocks uh, missions and uh, side quests, that you can uh, do to help you level up, get some XP, well worth doing, but please do it early. Number four, okay, as I said a minute ago, make sure you get the side quests, but pick them up, and um, you can do them in multiple, multiple ways. You can pick them up and do them in parallel, but get these side quests, they give you uh, lots of money, they give you lots of uh, XP in terms of survivor XP, and there's always rewards, there's always things you can find. The side quests are really well crafted in the game. They, they are uh, very, they're very cool to play, um, because they're, they're slightly, I don't know, they seem to be like worked out individually a little bit better than the main main story for me. Um, even in some of the, the 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 safe houses that you've you've unlocked or that you've you've saved, um, you can get uh, things like this as a challenge. But pick them up in parallel. Yeah, you don't need to just do them one by one. Uh, pick them up whether you're tracking it or not. The mini map will show you um, every place along the way. And because there's no fast travel, as you're sh as you're tracking back and forth from one place to another. The map will tell you uh, where you need to pick up stuff, um, and it's well worth doing. Pick them up in parallel. Number five, don't die. I know, it's impossible to not die, but avoid it. Look, there you go, you lose survivor points when you do so. I, I'm, I've frustrated me to no end, but as you die, you'll lose chunks, huge chunks of them. Not enough to completely lo drop you down a level, but enough to really kind of piss you off. Right, number six, every time you're near one, 
visit the quartermaster, uh, f for namely because um, you, you, well, one of the reasons is when you f find drops like this, you'll see uh, the drops from the planes as they fly over the cargo drops. One of the reasons you want to do this is because you can take them straight back to the quartermaster and you get a lot of uh, XP. Um, but also, every single 24 hours in game, 24 hours in game, you will get free stuff. Free stuff, don't need to buy it, don't need to pay it, and it will help you with your crafting later on in the game. Uh, number seven, visit, visit the shop regularly. Make sure as you're going around hunting, finding stuff, as I've shown you before, um, you will need to sell your valuables. Now here I've got a, a few valuables I can sell, and I make a ton of money out of doing it. Um, but most importantly, um, buy regularly crafting supplies, things that you can use. Med kits are always available. Just buy what you can afford, of course. Um, but the med kits will always be available. You can buy two at a time from any of these quartermasters. There's two or three that will pop up in the game later on. Um, but this one right now is the, the, the only one I've got. Um, but make sure you pick them up. Stock up on lockpicks, firecrackers, molotovs if you want to. Uh, which brings me on to number eight, firecrackers. Molotovs and general arson. Okay, use firecrackers to lure uh, several zombies to a particular zone, and when they are there, switch your uh, your your throwing item to a molotov, and you'll get uh, a load of kills all in one. Here in this in this particular clip, it's quite effective because there's a fair few around, but also I've got firecrackers still going off when the molotov goes down, and there's a whole load of zombies that are still running towards it and they catch fire off the other guys because they're already on fire. In this particular one, the firecrack is thrown down, but it sets fire to an oil pool. Oil pools are scattered around the map and very, very useful. Uh, set fire to this one and I stood the other side of it so that the uh, the zombies on the other side, still throwing firecrackers, would would come towards me because they, uh, they, they want to, well, eat me. Um, but it's a very, very quick, easy, possibly dirty way of killing these things without needing to do too much work. And don't forget, once you've done all of that, because you can spend hours doing it, don't forget to pick up the loot packs. Um, once you're done, those little packets on the ground, they are actually rewards, items that you could have scavenged. Number nine, use height. Okay, I realise that's obvious, but... Height is your advantage, not just to get away from the zombies, but it will also uh, level up your agility skill fairly quickly. Just hopping across a few cars there, you can see uh, that the agility is getting bounced up with various points here and there, just from jumping across things. Um, as you're using your, your height, make sure when you're trying to jump on a, <laughs> a huge drop like that, make sure there is something beneath you, like uh, rubbish bags or a, or a trash can, or something that will you will land on. Number 10, final tip in this video, the first upgrades I recommend that you get. First of all, backpack, health and melee. Backpack, um, simply because it allows you to uh, scavenge, not waste, enough, not, not waste too much time. It will allow you to carry more weapons in your backpack. I've, I've just unlocked it there to the biggest level and I've got loads of spare um, slots to carry other weapons. Now, you can always store them away in your, in your bag when you get to a safe house, but um, I don't want to spend too, mu too much time going from one safe house to another. So... Under uh, the agility, um, level up your health regen. Yeah, that is just it's just a defensive survival sort of thing. But with all all kind of games like this, you want to upgrade your health benefits as soon as you can. And this game is is just the same as any other. Under power, you've got another one. Um, this will allow you to take more damage. Basically, the sturdiness under the power level, uh, power uh, skill. Make sure you level that up as well, and uh, just choose carefully what you are going to uh, level up. I would go for defense and health every time over attack. So um, as I'm about to show you, I've got uh, a choice now. I've got one more skill point here. Now I can choose power attack, um, which allow me to do more damage, or I can choose to conserve my weapons. Uh, in this case, I would increase the durability of my weapons. As you can probably tell already, your weapons will deteriorate pretty quickly when you use them. So Go for defense. Go for things that will make you last that little bit longer. Okay, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, um, please please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't done so. But let me know down below any, t any tips that you've got. I'll be sure to, to put them in some future videos. I really enjoyed making this, but I want to make some more. I've got loads more ideas for this. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. And uh, enjoy Dying Light. I am absolutely loving it. Uh, good night. She